up, everybody. All right, let me go ahead and mute this where it closes out before it changes here. Stop. Oop, not this one. There's no, there you go. Let me pause it. Let me bring this down. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, this is our first show back. So um, if you guys are here, I mean, there's a few of you guys here. Give us a hello. Let us know where you guys are from. Then go. Let me go ahead and just drop this video down. And uh, we got an awesome show today. Uh, I got two wonderful ladies from California. Um, we're going to talk a little about, uh, we're going to talk a little about, you know, how they got started in the radio business and, uh, you know, how much it bakes, how much it, you know, how much it pays and then uh, any perks in this, in this business, right? I'm sure there's a lot of perks in this business. So let's go ahead and bring them on and uh, guys, give them, give them a hello because, uh, you know, I've been telling them, uh, let me go and bring them on here first. So um, let's see if I can get it right here. Hey, ladies. Hi. <laughs> so we got we got Christy and Michelle, you know, on here. I might I might just have to drop this uh, banner here. I'll, I'll keep it on there and I'll drop it later. So, uh, guys, uh, ladies from Fresno, California, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, guys, give them a hello. Give them some likes or some hearts, you know. And uh, I was I was telling you about you know they've been promoting a lot of people. It's my turn to promote them, right? Because no one's been promoting these girls here. So again, it's, it's, it's our turn to promote these ladies here. So uh, yeah, guys, just, just give them some likes and uh, some hearts here. And uh, ladies, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you for, you for having us. us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So I just want to say, hey, guys, uh, welcome to Mohasa Show 49. You know, we're going to talk uh, about their radio show called Generation Next you know, with uh, Christy and Michelle here. So um, welcome to the show, guys. And uh, like I said, uh, we got a few hellos here. Uh, we got Red says hi. You know, I'll go ahead and highlight them here. Uh, Matthew hi. says hi. Uh, <laughs> Stacy says hi from Fresno. Uh, Bao. And Jay says the two best hosts in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love right. Jay. Jay is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So yeah, hey, welcome, ladies. Uh, so yeah, love. Usually when I bring people on, I'm like, hey, how'd you guys get started? You know. So I guess uh, if one of you two just want to get, you know, uh, just start. Say, so, you know, we love to hear how'd you guys get started in this particular industry. Uh, well, for me, um, because I had worked with Trapeek or Silver Young before, so we're friends on Facebook, um, and I just, I saw him post up that they were looking for radio hosts, you know, and at that time, I was just trying to um, get out of my box, get out of my comfort zone. And so, and I wanted to challenge myself and learn Hmong, like force myself to learn how to speak Hmong better. So I was just like, you know what? And I came across it once and I was like, no, I'm too scared. And then yeah. months down and then I came across it again. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. If I get it, I get it. You know, <laughs> then it's meant to happen. So that's how I got into it. Wow. That was it. Just like, hey, it's one learn Hmong and... <laughs> <laughs> you know i just wanted to like just grow you know i wanted gotcha. to grow and then just see what i can do with it you know not yeah. realizing like how large of a platform it actually is man i'm bad i mean like i can't even read mong right so i have to do google translate are you like kind of <laughs> like me or are you are you better than me you know oh no, I you can do better i remember listening you can do better now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I took a Hmong class, actually, um, at Fresno City, so, because I wanted to learn Hmong, so they uh -huh. taught us, you know, the tones, um, the vowels, so I know how to read it, I just yeah. don't, I can't read it like how I re I can read English, you know, I uh -huh. still have to, like, sound it out, but yeah. I can definitely read and write it. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah, you, you do a wonderful job now, it's just, I, I stink at it, so I need to, like... <laughs> Where's that class? Is it virtual? Can I do a virtual class on this? <laughs> no, they have um. What's her name? Her name is Ta, I think. 
tell her or something like that. And she, she, I mean, she teaches English, uh -huh. but I mean, obviously she speaks Hmong, you know, so you can still learn. And she teaches you from scratch, you know, she teaches you verbs, nouns, all that stuff too. I'll so look it up. I tune into her show too. <laughs> T A eight T T A and then is that right? T A and then yeah, T -T 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 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, cool. So, what, what about you, Michelle? Chris is the better, the better reader. I will say that because I'm like you. I don't know how to read. I only learn how to read Hmong by lyrics and yeah. by reading <laughs> lyrics. Then you remember <laughs> certain words and what it uh, yeah. spells like. So that's me yeah. reading lyrics, you know. And uh, even now, like I can't spell it. Like certain ones I can spell, but then as soon as like you see the end, I'm like. Uh, uh, I have no idea what the heck that word means or what it is and stuff. But I actually got into radio because I'm a uh, comm major. So I decided to go back to school and at the community college, so Clovis Community College, since comm is my major, I had like, I was taking three comm classes and one of the professors was like, uh, reached out to me one day and said, you know, hey, do you know this radio station called um, KBIF? I'm like, yeah, I know very, very well. And she's like, you do? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, yeah. they're looking for a radio host for Hmong. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> that was my initial reaction. Yeah, because like I grew up with, you know, KBI, yeah, being in Fresno. You know, I've always listened yeah. to it. And Generation uh, Gen X actually started when I was in high school. So that was in 2002. Wow. Yeah. So like 2002, 2000, that was my <laughs> sophomore, junior year, right? So uh -huh. I I know about the radio show. Yeah. And even when I lived away, I was still tuned in and stuff. And so my teacher was like, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to go with comm major? And I'm like, there's a lot of things I want to do. And something that I'm really interested in is audio recording. And I'm very fascinated about ads and the different voices and how they can change and based on the ad. And uh, my teacher was like, well, this would be a good experience for you because if it's a small radio station and yeah. you can learn from it also. And I'm like, ah, so she put it in that perspective where before I was like, I have no idea where I really want to go at calm. I know like I'm a, I'm a good speaker. I can speak well. When I know about something, I can talk about it. But if you tell me to write a paper, a uh, different story, I cannot write a paper, <laughs> but I'm a speaker. And so my yeah. teacher had encouraged me to try it out. And I'm like, okay, let me try it out, you know, and go from there. And, and it's been going since then. So she tunes in and listens as well. And I share with her, I talk about her as well. And I do shout outs to her. But if it weren't for her to push me to try yeah. something different, then I wouldn't be at um, KBIF. So that's so, how I so, got into it. So calm guys it's like what communication right uh -huh, a, communication, a communication yep. degree what is that mm -hmm. how many like how many years is that into to get that degree <sighs> just like all the other years <laughs> i would say because i'm just at the community college so it's okay. just you know okay, two wait, years two, three okay mm -hmm. cool so those of you guys who wants to get into radio you know or something like that or communication i guess it take about two uh -huh. years so Mm -hmm. oh, for oh. your AA, yeah, yeah. So I'm still in school. So I'm not done with school yet, but I'm taking slowly um, with classes. But I'm definitely enjoying the growth. Chris, I think I feel like Chris and I, we've really grown in the year of mm -hmm. having no radio background at all to just sound like, okay, you guys, we're doing okay. You guys seem like pros. I mean, pretty much. So. <laughs> yeah, we have you no radio better, background. So Pretty, you yeah. know, yeah, you know, so yeah, you guys seem like, like I say, you guys seem like pros when I watch you guys. So, you know, when you mentioned like, you know, you were in, you you were listening to high school, I'm like, my gosh, am I, am I that old? Because I was listening to Generation X, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and you're like in high school. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am. <laughs> you're not that old. I just <laughs> turned 36, and I had to remember. I had to take a really good <laughs> inhale, and I'm like. I'm 36 this year. <laughs> so. That's nothing. You're just a yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's what I tell everybody now. You guys are all babies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a little, little, uh, little book uh, here. Barnes says hi, you know. Uh, and then Mo says, hey, go live in Laos for summer. You'll learn it. Yeah, you know. 
<laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, Jay goes, you know, learn by karaoke. Yeah, that's what I heard, you know, like you can yep. learn more like easily faster, you mm -hmm. know, through karaoke. Yeah, I have I have to do that too. So, you know. Um, yeah, so and then uh oh man, like I said, I can't even read their names. How do you guys read his name? I can't see the comments on here. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, because you're on. Uh, you're on the phone. Yeah. So uh, Ding yeah. Zhong, I see that. So you guys also like I say, like when you guys do your your show and you guys calling out people's name, I'm like, oh my god, you guys are just reading it like perfect, like <laughs> and like I can't do this. I feel so embarrassed when I see these names. Like I can't. I pronounce. see. Uh, thanks to Paul watching us. Hi, thanks to. Um, yeah. Henry is watching us. Henry is from one of the. The risers from Rise, so he is a newer artist too. Hi, Henry. Hey guys, give give him a hello. Tell you guys where you guys were at. You know, or a few thumbs up. So you know, a little support for these. Uh, you know, that ladies coming here. Like I said, yeah, guys, and we earlier. met Banksy at the New York too. <laughs> oh, now we did. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So you know, like I said earlier, you know, these girls support a lot of celebrities you know so like you know nobody's promoting them and so i'm here to promote them so because <laughs> they're awesome so and so we guys, appreciate it you know yeah no we worries a lot like i said i'm a big fan i just haven't you know like i said i i don't say much but i'm a big fan and i was like oh man i need i want to bring you guys on because you guys do an awesome job so that's why so mm -hmm. so here we are today so uh so yeah guys tell us about your radio show like you know, I think you we were talking about earlier. It used to be called Gen X. Now it's called Generation Next. Is that is that correct? Yes. So it used to be Gen X, and um, I don't know when exactly it started. Maybe it was before I started, but I don't know how long before that um, it was changed to Gen X. Okay, cool. So, like, uh, I mean, what? Tell me, like, what's the theme behind that? I think for the newer generation, I remember when they were asking people for uh, names, they were getting feedbacks. What would the new name be for the show? And because it's been Gen X for a long time, now it's going for a newer generation. So what would that newer generation be? And I think that was the process of it to change the name and uh -huh. not knowing that they would be leaving afterwards too. <laughs> 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 and so, so I, I do remember like a lot of people in, had an input on what the name would be and then there was a voting for that too and it eventually became Gen X Gen X yeah uh -huh. I guess it would be kind of weird like Generation Millennial you know that would be kind of weird because uh -huh. right? we, we are the Millennials so <laughs> yeah, but it, it just doesn't roll off like, mm -hmm. like good so you know instead of you know so i see i, I kind of maybe i don't know but that's kind of what i was thinking you know so cool like all right so um what's like what's the target i mean i know this but what's the target audience that you guys are you know targeting with the radio show <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what i would say you know because we go monglish and we go yeah. speaking from mong and to english i would say i did not speak a lot of mong for gen x only the last couple of weeks i've done more of the day shows so i've been speaking more mong so now i'm like doing a little bit more incorporating more mong but generally we do it because it is the show where others can come and can relate and can be there where they can understand the music and not the super old one where they, the words are so strong and uh, deep that they don't really know what it means. But here, it's an audience that you can connect to, you can relate to. So I think that's what it is. And we also strive for everybody to connect, not just the you know younger generations, the ones that are younger than us, but for the elders too to connect so we can have that, not that huge different age gap yeah. where we want to connect everybody that's the goal this year is to really engage everybody to say these are the new artists these are the new songs but also remember that who inspired them is the older artists oh, okay. so connecting our ages together oh okay i always thought like all right you guys just play certain music you know from a certain time period but you guys are there's something you else everything 
<laughs> whatever I use because we go from Hmong to English also. So there are some songs that are not Hmong that we have um, listeners who request for that. So we do have American songs that we do play. But if we're on Facebook, oh. we do say, do the disclaimer. If we go mute and you don't hear us on Facebook because of disclaimer part. But if you're listening through the app or through the radio, then you yeah. hear it thoroughly. But if you're listening through Facebook because of disclaimers, then it goes mute a little bit. Oh, what do you mean by that? Was that like? Uh, I think you mean copyright. Yeah, copyright. So oh, copyright. Yeah. So with Facebook, it does have that copyright part. So we go mute. So you can hear us, and all of a sudden it's like a mute, and then we come back on to you can hear us talking. Yeah. That's, That's only when we have songs that are in English. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, okay, what do you mean? Okay, yeah, great. So, so you do play all kinds of songs or whatever. It's just, you know, I guess most songs aren't copyrighted. Most of them aren't, right? <laughs> That's why it won't get, you know, muted out or something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I, I do know when I was playing uh, Mabu's newest album. Yes. yes. Um, yeah, her music was copyrighted because I was, I go through like the whole album, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, just to promote their albums. And then like I would, get, and we get flagged on Facebook, you know? saying that due to copyright issues you know we might get like oh. kicked out you know <laughs> so i'm like okay so her music is copyrighted but i hope people wow. heard, you know <laughs> she's on the ball that girl is on yeah. the ball she knows how to yeah. get that stuff <laughs> that's mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. so your so your target like when we talk about like your like the target audience it's like it's not just is it just mostly home or you know, like you know i know, I know you guys are talking there's like um me got people in there too is it? Mm -hmm. But what is your target audience? Yeah, it would it would be um, more so for, of course, the Hmong community because we are a Hmong radio station. Um, but like me and Michelle, we do have friends and such, you know, who do tune into the show too. So you know, sometimes they they tune in, but they'll they'll say, "Oh, I tuned in today, but I just don't understand what you're saying." You know, oh, we're mm -hmm. talking in Hmong. So because yeah. of that. Um, and because the younger generation, they do, like, some of them, I mean, their mom is worse than ours, you know? So, like, we will speak, we'll speak English, too, for the younger generation. Okay. Um, but we do actually, you know, like, when I first came on, it was surprising that we do have the older folks who do tune in. Yeah. Um, just because I think they're just used to be listening to the radio. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So, so, yeah, so they even call in and, you know, like. Uh, they used to call in and just laugh at us, you know, jokingly, like, you guys are so funny, and you guys, you know, the way you speak Hmong is so funny, but it's so cute, because, you know, yeah. you guys are crying, you know? So, um, yeah, our our audience would be, like, the younger generation, who, like I said, speak Hmong, language, you know? But um, yeah. we do realize that it's actually broader than that. Oh, Okay. But yeah. so you guys are, I mean, you guys are on the radio. So, I mean, I guess, mm -hmm. is it, is it FM or AM? AM. So, I mean, is there, I mean, how, this is out of what? Fresno, right? Mm -hmm. I guess, how, I mean, have, have they done any stats? Of like how did, how many people can, it can reach or has it reached? Um, well, there are, so our radio station, um, just just in the Central Valley alone, um, there are, you know, 30,000 people in the Central Valley alone who have access to it. But then because we do have Facebook as well, you know, people yeah. all over the world, you know, they, they can listen to us. I may well find you guys. Yeah. So you guys touch the Fresno area. I, mean, I don't know how many more people are in Fresno. Do you know? I mean. I don't know. A lot. I, <laughs> A lot, and yeah. then and then you guys, you know, I, I see how you guys are marketing this. You you guys touch through the radio, and then you guys touch through you know Facebook and you know whatever. That is like amazing. So you know, it's probably you're saying what thirty, maybe more than that. And then I mean, I'm guessing. So that's, and then I see like, I guess the reason why I'm saying it is like it's it's about ads, right? It's about how mm -hmm. how do you guys how does this radio show keep the lights on, right? And you guys do it through ads and stuff like that right mm -hmm. 
So and and I'm I'm just curious to see like how how I mean most of them are a Hmong because you can hear the Hmong commercials in there, right? That mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So it's all translated. So if you oh, okay. if it was uh, an, a business that is not Hmong, then we can translate that and then do oh. the ads. So if you had no idea how to do any translation and you want to say, okay, I want to do an ad and I want to say it like this, then we can go French. Um, go there. No, no, no. Hold on. Um, then, then we have you know uh, the others who are there. Hi, Chris. Um, so, oh, hi, Chris. Yeah, Chris can see you too. Hi, Chris. Chris is right here. See, Chris. Hi, oh my gosh! See, look how pretty Chris is. Yeah, we haven't seen Chris in a couple of days. Yeah, Chris is right there. Look, I see Chris in two. Yeah, you can see Chris in that one. Okay, you can see Chris in that one. So I'm on like two thongs. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. You have to go on that one. So me, mommy can do this one. So, but yeah, so we do the translation and then we can do the recording here. So if it's not already pre-recorded, then oh. we can do that at the studio. So mm -hmm. any business, so I encourage businesses to, you know. Um, connect with us hey you need to go the other way go here i can't hear because then it reaches a different audience for them as well so we can do the translation that's that's awesome so, and you, you mean you don't have to if it's a home business or yeah something like that too right uh-huh yeah so so my take is would you guys do like like i'm in florida right would you guys do like ads take ads and stuff in from florida as well Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. And I, you know, and I see when you guys do your um your your show, you guys also have like banners or like uh, Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. We can create a banner for you. So if you wanted to sponsor our show, we can yeah. create that banner for you. And so when we're live, then that banner is set there. So everyone sees your banner too. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so there's a lot of things we can do here <laughs> at the radio station. And, yeah. you know, it's about who wants to put in an add-in. And yeah. we can play that. There's uh, a lot of different things that you can do, like packaging and stuff like that. And if you, let's say if you wanted to do, sponsor a show, right? And and go live with us and talk with us for that hour. You can certainly do that, too. So there's so many wow. different ways to yeah. be there with us. And, there, you know, there's a lot of of our show that we have those um, the sponsors or the ads that are paid for and they pay for the hour that they're there. And mm -hmm. so, so there's a lot of different ways you can connect with us. And as long as you have internet access, yeah, we're worldwide because yeah, we have exactly. that web. Yeah. As yeah. long as you go through our webpage, if you don't have Facebook and you can't connect with us, then you can go through our website and listen to us as well. Awesome. So, so the question is, wh what do you guys charge for that kind of stuff, like uh, per, per hour, right? So, okay, let's, let's start with a commercial. Do you know how much a commercial would cost? It really, it ranges to see. It ranges uh, depending on how many spots you want per day. Yeah. So, so, I, uh, <clears throat> so I noticed, like, when you guys play, like, a song or something, and you go from one song to another, there's a, there's a commercial in between. Like, like, what does that take for that? Like, I don't know, two minute, uh, uh, I, I guess, or a minute or something commercial. Mm -hmm. um, well, like I said, it's just all like, um, there are different packages. So not only uh, is your music or your ad played during the Gen X show, but it's played throughout the entire day. You know, unless okay. you specifically want, you know, only during like uh, certain times or certain shows, then we can like cater to that. But the prices, they vary on how many times you want. So how many spots we call them spots. So if you mm -hmm. can do three spots per day, four, five spots per day. So it ranges. Yeah. So the package is going to be based on that. I just yeah, say I want, a, I want an entire day. What is that? How does that work? <laughs> um, so, like for example, um, like well, say what's if you most want expensive package, I guess. Yeah, so that would be like five or six spots per day, and I think that one is like it's actually not even that. Maybe like five hundred or so around there. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not it's not really expensive, yeah. you know. And then you know we do like say yeah. if you sign on with us um, for so many months, then we can obviously yeah. give you a discount too. Okay, and then yeah, what I about mean, like? Okay, what about that? Like, if I we was to sit down for a whole hour or something like that, you know, like how you mentioned earlier. So if you um, wanted to do an add-on to that and you wanted to do like a whole, like a, so it's a 55 minutes uh, show, that would be like $100 per show. Oh, okay. So it's, I bad. think it's pretty reasonable. That's really for good. For an hour, for like a 55 minutes. And that's just like your time. So if you want to do that one, that 55 minutes, then that's your spot that you're, you're purchasing. Um, and then so ads will only be at the end. So yeah. you get that full 55 minutes. So let's say if you wanted that 55 minutes and you wanted us to be in that conversation with you, then we can do that too. We can have that. So, yeah. but if you wanted just to do like a solo, like, hey, I just want a spot for like 55 minutes. And so we'll designate that spot for you. So there's so many different parts, uh, different ways that like, I feel like this is for a business take advantage of it because it's so affordable and it's reaching so many people. Yeah. Especially you guys are like, you saying that this is a, a Hmong radio, right? So uh -huh. that's what you guys are saying. So you're mm -hmm. tailing this to the Hmong. I mean, I, I get it is in Fresno, but you also touch other mm -hmm. through, through yep. the web. So mm -hmm. other people that tune in, they can get that as well. Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. Like if you're, you know, if you're focusing just on California and then you want to branch out. So dude, this is great. This is great advertising. Yeah. You know, we have you. like uh, people from Australia that's tuned in with us uh, lately. We have, I've made new friends from France, from yeah. French Guiana, from yeah. Laos, Thailand, and then Southern rest, you know, from Canada. So wherever yeah. you are in the world, as long as you have internet access, you can yeah. tune in with us and you can oh, listen. Yeah, exactly. And guys, yeah. I mean, I, I know I was going to kind of save that to the end. Like, how do people get that? Do you go on the radio show website to get that advertisement? You know, to, to for that? Or how, how would you uh, how would you start that process? You could just contact like one of us, you know, you can like okay. go through us or just contact the station directly. Um, either through email or like, you know how there's that pathway because we walk on it so much. Us can like get that done. Yeah, right? awesome. Or anyone interested? Cool, cool. So those of you guys are listening, you know, we're here with uh, <laughs> with Christy Michelle from uh, the Generation Next in Fresno, California. Uh, we're, we're talking a little about how they got started. You know, the hustle of this radio business <laughs> debut. And you know, and and I'm gonna ask them how much they get paid, you know, with this, you know, in a bit. So and if there's any new events coming up. So, uh, so if you guys are here, let us know. Give us a few, you know, likes or say hi to them because you most of you guys know them. Uh, I've seen them around for a while. Uh, if you haven't, you know, here they are, y'all. You guys, you guys are missing out. You know, they had they put on a pretty good show, and you know, and I'll, I guess I'll include. Um, their link right i guess you have a uh i guess you have a facebook page i usually see the show through you guys personal page right but you guys have a personal um central page that you guys go for your live as well right yeah so that's off of the um the kbif page um so our facebook live is through there and then we just share it on to our personal pages or i made a facebook page specifically for the gen x show so i'll share it on there as well Gotcha. Cool. Cool. So, um, so just so, you know, people are like, if they want to, I know, and you, I know you guys just got started, right? <clears throat> and so if you want to, if you, let's just say we have this young pr person like kind of Michelle, right? She's kind of starting out school. If you want to do something like this as a career, I mean, do you guys have any tips for, for, you know, these young bucks <laughs> on how to do that, what you guys are doing? Um, I would think just, um, you know, know what you're going to talk about. Um, just kind of know what your, your purpose is, your goal is for the show. And then, um, yeah, just prepare for it and 
you know, work towards that. Um, Where's, uh, sorry, Chris, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, but I think um, the experience, you know, that comes along with it, it'll just kind of teach you. You'll just learn things along the way. Okay. But I think for the most part, you can just, you know, know your purpose. Gotcha. Something See? that people don't know about us is we direct our show. We, we come up with what we talk about. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's where Chris says, you know, know your purpose and know what you're going to talk about because we have, so when Chris and I come in together, then we, it's pretty much a catch up because we don't see each other <laughs> at all. Yeah. But when we're on our show, like we have different parts that we do differently. So like on Monday, I do this life segment because, um, you know, I want to be, have that relatable to people and just reachable. And at Tuesday, I, I'm starting to do that for Tuesday also. And then Chris has her uh, get to know the roads um, segment. So yeah. we have different segments <laughs> that we do that we incorporate within ourselves within the time that we're there. So yeah. that's where the coming of like, know what you're talking about comes in really handy. Because if you kind of just come on and kind of like guess, what do I do? What do I talk about? Well, yeah. That's a learning. That's why every day is a learning for us because we come in and we already sometimes we think about something and then as the show starts, it changes because something else pops up and yeah. then we adapt to it quickly. I know I do that all the time and I'll be talking about I'm like, oh, yeah, this happened. And then I'm sorry, guys, I got to go back to this because <laughs> of, uh, you know, something that you read and then something else pops up. So being able to adapt and but also controlling how you make your words where it's not going to be um what do you call it um uh, we're it's not gonna drive your audience away and yeah. it, it's not definitely gonna be something that it's gonna uh, sometimes suppress them in this yeah. way or also may be offensive so you have to also understand the the environment of being neutral to it yeah. and can't be like you know solely uh, on one thing so it's a neutral base but also if you're going to be speaking about something you have to be neutral you we all have our own like strong points and stuff that yeah. we can add but obviously we still have to remain neutral so we're not being biased to certain things so like okay so that's great you guys they let you guys do your own content have you guys really mm -hmm. like have you guys gone through enough where you know what attracts what get, keeps their attention like what's like, what what have you guys done to keep people's attention like those have you have you realized <laughs> well, you know what i've like something that um i've come to realize that people you know like well some people, you know, they, they kind of like, um, oh, a little so bit, funny. you know, oh, so funny. and so what? what is it? Some people, they kind of like a little bit of drama, um, <laughs> you know, so whatever the hot topics are, you know, whatever people, whatever is going through Facebook and stuff, you know, um, yeah. some of those major things, yeah, we address, um, because obviously people are into it. Right. But, um, but we try we try to keep it more the show more positive positive yeah. yeah so we don't want to like feed into the drama but i know that that's <laughs> what people like to talk about you know so yeah. we obviously have our own opinions of what happens too so we'll talk about it discuss it if we're together yeah. if we're not together we'll just talk about it separately um but we don't dwell on it we just kind of mm -hmm. give our opinions such and you know and then we kind of <laughs> move on just to try to like be in you know be on topic too but then like try to stay positive and not stuck in the drama either <laughs> wow that's awesome so they'll call in on dramas and stuff like that but you know positive stuff they're just like all right <laughs> we encourage we encourage our audience to call in <laughs> but uh rarely we get audience that will call in i know um Sometimes we will get more feedbacks through Facebook, but for a call in, I think most people are still scared to call in. Yeah. And so they don't do that. But on a feedback phase, you know, doing that live and 
having them comment and say, oh, you're doing great. Keep up the great work. That's something yeah. that gives us that feedback that we're doing good. And, you know, we ask about it all the time. Like, if we're not doing something good, you know, give us that feedback, you know, so we know how to improve. But if we simply don't hear it, then we're going to keep going off of, yeah. you know, adding to it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be like, man, that's stink. Yeah. <laughs> you, that, you guys are going to have to come in and tell them, hey, stop doing that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think overall, our audience, they enjoy what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, a lot, And I definitely heard some people were like, that show still exists. And I'm like, well, if you haven't tuned in, why don't you tune in and hear it out now? It's a little different from before. Because yeah, Chris and I, when we started, the first thing we did was change the day themes. That was the very first thing we did mm -hmm. was like, I was like, no, this is too like, it's too sorrow. It's too like, depressing. And yeah. we, we need a positive yeah. a word. We need positive atmosphere. And that mm -hmm. was the first thing we changed Mom, was like. Is Addy the first calling for Addy Mom? Okay. Okay. So I can talk. So. But yeah, that was something definitely that we wanted to change was to have more of a positive aspect for everybody That's and awesome, to bring yeah. that because, you know, it's already so negative and we just need to continue with the positive to be uplifting. Yeah, we can't move forward if it's so negative. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Absolutely. So, OK, so in, in, in this industry, like, all right, so, you know, with this particular business, how much does it pay? Does it pay a lot? to do this do you guys have a second job or is this like is this is your primary job or how's that how does it work as a, if, if somebody was to be like a radio host like you guys um it it is just minimum wage this is just kind of my side job um like i said earlier more so i started just to or work for self-growth right because i wanted to um learn right learn how to take mong and just be out there and be out of my comfort zone so um but you know like i said without realizing how large of a platform we actually have so since then i've learned you know how many opportunities we can get from being a, a radio personality um you know we get to meet people then we have a voice as well so we can speak for maybe somebody who cannot speak up um and from that you know realizing how large this platform is and then meeting you know so many other people as well through um throughout the year it's made me want to and like believe that i can do more you know and mm -hmm. make it a bigger change and like better make you know our community better awesome yeah, yeah. Got, same here same here. You don't realize how much of an impact you make on someone on and without knowing it until you hear the feedbacks to it. And so do you know what our day themes are? Chai? Uh, no, go ahead and say it. Okay. So, so more share, more share Monday to inspire and motivate. What inspires and motivates you to get up or or do other people see you as their inspiration and motivation? to mm -hmm. total through tuesday supporting each other not just businesses but as individuals to all in that we need to love and forgive because if we don't have forgiveness how do we find love where do we understand love to thursday to remember through king is self-care and self-love you have to have some self-care and self-love because if you do everything for everybody else what about yourself are you forgetting yourself are you not important and worthy to you you are yeah. so take some time for some self care, self love to Friday to have fun, more fun Friday, and also our flashback of remember that all the downs that we get is what pushes oh, us up to be better. What was Wednesday? I miss Wednesday. Love and forgive. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, good. that's awesome guys that's awesome yeah so we definitely changed it around and <laughs> thought about it thoroughly before we yeah. said okay this is what we're gonna do because this yeah. is what we need for and, ourselves and like i apologize for asking that question because you know in in business like so this is a money show and this is kind of oh like a business show mm -hmm. it's it's sometimes it's not about the money 
right guys mm-hmm. sometimes it's not about the money it's about the contacts right who mm-hmm. you meet and stuff like that mm-hmm. and you know i see the people you guys meet and i'm like holy cow you guys are meeting like these celebrities and there's perks behind that right i mean i don't know if they're letting you guys go backstage and, and that kind of stuff you know but you know there's perks i mean oh my gosh i mean some some of the people that you guys meet are like oh i would just love to have a picture with them you know just just to be mm-hmm. like talk to them you know so i think those are like that's even better you know so uh yeah. like uh like and, and one of the things i wanted to ask you is like what's the best moments you has have on the show i mean have you met somebody that you guys are like oh my gosh you know that's like the best but i can't wait to meet um <laughs> I don't know, because we've met a lot of great people, you know? Um, like, we, like, what we, is, right, what like is one that you're like? Pong, really um, we have Pong from Paradise. Like, we got to. Our you know, first we, two interview was Ty Sounders and Pong. Yeah, from <laughs> Paradise. Yeah. Our very yeah. first, like, couple of months. And that was the first New Year that there was uh-huh. no New Year. And they were our first. <laughs> Uh, inter- people that we interviewed and had as a guest on wow. Gen-, Gen X, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was like intimidating. You're like, oh my gosh, you know. Actually, it wasn't intimidating to me because they were oh. really, really nice. They were really, really nice. Um, I think they were, you know, a little nervous themselves you know so uh we since they were coming, I guess, into our territory, we had to make them feel comfortable too. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. But the great thing about, like, when Pong came, like, we got him to sing, you know, because one of the our listeners had requested um, for him to sing a song. And so, like, yeah. we got to witness him singing live, you know, <laughs> which was pretty. Oh, wow. Pretty little pretty. personal concert for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, awesome. we've met a lot of, of amazing people. And, and everyone that we've met it's been that inspires us and motivates us to even be better to grow because if we didn't have these conversations with people and having them come in we don't ever want people to feel like scripted and be robotic we want them to be relaxed and feel comfortable so when they come in and say just be who you are and enjoy and relax you know take rmf for example so when rmf i was like okay i want to bring you know, bring you guys in and just give you guys this moment just to share with people. And yeah. yes, they were all nervous, but as soon as they were done, they're like, that's it. I'm like, yep, that's it. They're like, that was so fast. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And because we want to have that environment, you know, same with like Olivia and Callie when they came in and we're like, nope, just be simple, just relax and enjoy this because, you know, everybody has that, that scare, like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What do I do? What do I say? Nope. Just be yourself. And that's the right. environment we want everyone to be comfortable with. It's just not the stress of like being tense because when you do, <laughs> you become robotic about it. It sounds like a scripted uh, time versus where you can enjoy that and have a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, so any new events coming up? I mean, I know you guys did, uh, I mean, you guys had a new year and then you guys did the rise. Uh, then I mean, there was other shows that was that, that came by, I think, too, I believe. Any any new? I mean, I know we just got done with a lot of stuff. Any any new events coming up that you guys are promoting that or you guys see coming? Um, I t- I don't know of any that we we do have specifically, <clears throat> but uh, me and Michelle, we both for this our second year this year coming up, we we definitely want to get a lot more guests on, and we we want to um, not only talk about music, right, or mainly music. Mm-hmm. We want to you know do one thing, reach into other like businesses, have guests come on the show and talk about you know uh, a variety of topics that will be beneficial for our audience so um unless michelle you know one specific like event that's coming up um so if if you missed it today aiden called like surprisingly and i was like oh my gosh (laughs) he he's currently in palm spring right now you know getting his because his race is coming this weekend and he called and i'm like 
oh my god this is so neat he, he just surprised me you know and yeah having that so um i do know one thing i i do want to follow his trip his journey this year and yeah. continue to have that as because you know we we have to think about what inspires and motivates us right so for the younger ones and even for like i told them i go even as the age i'm at you inspired me to keep going because you know there's little things that you do you know his yeah, parents and so forth so um one i i know he has a race that it's going to be like in march or so that it's going to be a closer so chris i hope we're going to go to that one because yeah. it's only it's not going to be too far it's like an hour away or so um yeah. but so we do want to get more involved into events you know like if there's an event and we're aware of it we do want to go and participate because that's what we talk about support right yeah. supporting is being able to show up and seeing there and if we don't know about an event then share with us an event because there's so many things that are going on that we can't keep track of it mm -hmm. so if we know about it then um then it's easier for us to be like okay we can plan it but if we don't know about it in advance quiet quiet go go for it i need to hush um then it's gonna um help us out a little bit to plan better so i do know that one for sure chris that we and i are you and i are going to go to is going to be for one of the adian's race yeah and, we did say we're going to go to races too <laughs> yeah so to learn that's more awesome. about again yeah. and that's with the different businesses and careers and where people can go to and just want to open the you know broaden the the spectrum of careers it's not just about you know, politician or doctors or medical or, or the ones that we all hear about, right? But there's so many different careers that you can do. And yeah. we want to explore more into that, expand more into that, of opening ourselves to learning that as well. Awesome. So those of you guys uh, are looking to like uh, advertise or so, Reach out to these girls. Uh, they, I mean, they already have a huge following, right? And you guys can push it out uh, locally and, you know, across the nation. So if you guys are looking to advertise uh, your business or just talk about a particular topic, I guess, you guys can you, you guys can do that too, right? Yeah, we are open <laughs> to topics. We always want uh, – we, we encourage everyone to send in topics, what they want us to talk about. And we shared this yeah. from the very beginning is if there's something that you want to talk about, let us know. Well, let's talk about it. Let's open this conversation, this dialogue, because if we don't ever talk about it, it's never going to get spoken about. And so how yeah. do you open your communication if you can't speak about it? And if you're just closed off, there's no communicating after that. So yeah. we open that dialogue. So we want people to come in and talk about Look it. Look at that. A, a communication major holy cow you're awesome <laughs> I'm, I'm just good at talking i'm telling you if it's like writing i'm bad at writing but i can talk about stuff <laughs> wow that's awesome the way how you just you're just like relaying all this stuff and i mean that stuff would never come out but you know that's awesome you should do another like you should do your own like facebook you know show as well <laughs> yeah and you know something also is that girlfriend stop okay yeah. girlfriend stop is that you know when we go live on the kbif page so take for example new year's i went live on the kbif page and you know you can if you're not here to be at the event then you know and if we're there we want to share with you guys the events going mm -hmm. on and so uh the last day when i was there and there or the third day it was when they were doing the pageant the crowning and stuff so i went on and i stayed there and you know people like came on left and right and, and again we're we're here to also be there so you can like with chris and i say we live through people vicariously through their adventures so we yeah. also want that like if you can't join like in person then right. join by virtually yeah mm -hmm. and you guys are there to present it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. yeah and that's awesome. what we did with um or i did with rmf too you know uh -huh. and, and it's good because then it helps also um promote the event and the organization themselves and it allows for any of our audience who couldn't make it you know um and it allows them to kind of get a sneak peek too of how it is so maybe next year you know they can go you know or they, they it would make them want to go you know right i mean like when i when you did like i said when you uh christine when you were doing your lives on the on the rmf i was that's how i was watching rmf you know because <laughs> I, I was there was no other way because i don't think uh 
I only think Rise was was doing lives. So I was like, oh, oh I can I couldn't watch it. So I'm watching it through Chrissy's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you probably saw me freak out when I saw Lang Yang. <laughs> you probably heard He's me. Awesome guy like, too, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. Like, fangirling. <laughs> I'm like fangirling from you watching. I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so at least no. I'm glad that I could do that for other people who, because that was the VIP access, you know? So I'm glad yeah. that people were able to see that too. Um, So maybe hopefully next year, then they'll be like, shoot, I want to give VIP access, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it was it was great what you were doing because, you know, yeah. I was following you because there, there was few people that was doing a few lives, but you did majority off. And I think you had a better camera too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody else was like, camera was kind of fuzzy. So, yeah. uh, all right. So last question. I mean, how do people follow your show? And I guess how do people follow you guys? Uh, well, our Facebook page for the KBIF is KBIF 900 AM Hmong Radio. We have Instagram, which is at Hmong Radio. And then um, my Facebook page I made for the Gen X show is at Gen X Chris. And then Michelle's is um, at Michelle.vac. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay i'll take all that i'll put it in the show notes and i guess any last words um well for me i just want to thank you you know for doing this for us and even tuning in you know um i want to thank you for enjoying our show and just having us on and then being the one there to support us in our show you guys, I mean, you guys are awesome. How about you, Michelle? You got any last words? Yeah, thank you, Chai, for this moment. I think you are our first, you are our first uh, person that we're connected, talking to. Because, like you said, you know, we talk to everybody, but we're not someone else's guest. So, yeah. this is the first time for us being as a guest and not as the host. So yeah. thank you for uh, giving us this time also and connecting with us and reaching out with us. And, you know, to everybody who's tuning in, thank you for supporting, you know, the, the three of us, you know, Hmong Hustlers and then KBIF. You know, KBIF has been, shh, hold on, I'm almost done, girlfriend. Um, KBIF has been forever. It's been, if you're like here in Fresno, I remember when I was little, like my parents would be like AM 900. I'm like, oh, the Hmong channel, you know, like that's all, you know. So for me to be 36, I remember that it's been like 30 plus years for KBIF, maybe even longer. But yeah. for, uh, for the Gen X, Gen X, it's been like since 2000, you know, from right about the 2000 mark. And so to yeah. everybody, you know, continue to support and, you know, be there because we're here for you as well. We want to be that center, that balanced place for you guys, where you guys can talk and not be judged because it yeah. is not for us to judge. We just want to be there for you. And that's how we can support each other is by being there and try for, you know, again, giving us this time. I hope I'm a that. Big fan. That's all it is. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I'm so you know, excited <laughs> that, that we have, you know, we've actually learned more about our fans a little bit more and stuff. Those who have been willing to come by and say hi to us. And it's, uh, you know, like I share, I, was like, I, I get like the butterflies. And I was like, I feel like a little kid that gets that little piece of candy and you just squeal out of excitement. <laughs> you know, that's me. And, you know, we're just like, ah! We got a fan, you know, because we don't think that we have fans. We just, you know, we just go and do our show yeah, and come yeah. back, and we don't really think about it, you know. But when someone does say that, we're like, oh, "What? We got a fan? What? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no worries." So one thing we, before we go, we usually ask our uh, uh, last question here that we usually ask our guests before we before we go is, if you had a billion dollars, what's the first two things you would do with it? Since uh, we 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 do this because we're a money show. We want to see what everybody, how people think. So, or our guests think. So, I guess, uh, can we ask, ask you that question before we go? Come on. I'm sure you can go first. My phone is like going to die. So, let me charge it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I had all that money in the world, I would reinvest to help others have a voice. And for us having this voice, I would make that reinvestment in that. Because our 
if we don't share our voice, express mm -hmm. our voice, we're shut down. We shut ourselves down. So to invest in that communication part and also to have a, a place, a more safe place where we're not judged because okay. judgment happens every second. Someone doesn't like something, they get judged for this and that. And that safe zone where you can have. So Nothing for you? you? That's Nothing what I was saying. You? You're not going to splurge on yourself or anything? No. Come, <laughs> money comes and go, you know? You know, wow, why, okay, cool. why would I take it all for myself? Because if I yeah. take it all for myself, that's just greedy. And what do you get out wow. of greed? You get nothing. Obviously, nothing yeah, you get all that for a moment of for yourself. But really, does that does greed really make you happy? Or do supporting others and helping others brighten your day? Because givers are happier when they give versus when they receive. Wow. Michelle is thinking about the big picture, guys. So that's awesome. <laughs> that the really little awesome. things matter in life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what oh. I say. You know, awesome. if you think of a, of a picture, right? A canvas. A canvas is blank. And when you think about your day, when you wake up, you have no idea what your day is. But then only at the end of the day is when you can put all those pixels pixel together to create that mm -hmm. image to create your canvas. <laughs> so the little things matter in life. <laughs> Wow, I've never spoken to a communication uh, major, but holy cow, you're <laughs> awesome at talking, you know. Uh, Christy, uh, did we lose you, Christy? I think we lost her. I think she's kind of there, kind of not. <laughs> we did but, lose her. But I know, like, with Chris and I, we bounce off each other, and mm -hmm. it's crazy because we, we never knew each other. Only when we started working with each other is when yeah. we're like, oh, my gosh, you know what, Chris – you know, get stuck out, then I, I'm there to help her out. And when I get stuck out, she's there to help me out, you know? Yeah. So we're each other's backbone. We are looking for a male host. So it's been ongoing. It's been there, but no one really has been interested in coming and wanting to try it out. <laughs> so yeah, male host, if you are wanting to come and talk and try something, and this is something that you'll like, by all means, take, give it a shot. What's the worst you're going to get out of it is you don't like it. I mean, that's the yeah, worst you get out of anything, right? If you don't so ever try it, you don't ever know it. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, God, I mean, just by watching you, what you guys go through, we're going to wait a few minutes if she if she comes back. Uh, okay. If Christmas comes back. But yeah, uh, uh, here we go. We have a job opening, guys, right here. <laughs> Michelle's yes. Michelle's <laughs> you, Let us send uh, a resume in uh, and... And, uh, you know, we, we definitely want to have that male perspective, too. It's great to have the both male Chris, and female. Chris, if you could join, we'll, we'll wait We'll wait two more minutes. If you could join, if not, then we'll drop off. But uh, we'll wait two more minutes for you to join if you can. Yeah, so if you are not shy and you definitely want to come by, give it a shot, send in your resume. You know, call in the studio and uh, talk to Tony. He's the big boss. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. And like I say, uh, there's so many parts. I see you guys go through, talk to so many celebrities. Holy cow. And it's 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 been amazing. Uh, and if you guys are looking to promote your business, uh, reach out to uh, reach out to them. I'll, I'll go ahead and put their information on the show notes. Or, and so uh, is that her coming on? Not yet. And uh, and I guess you guys can reach out, uh, advertise your business on them. They have a huge following. I mean, I can see from their lives. I mean, they do have people coming on watching the shows all the time and uh and as far as their content is it's it's amazing i mean i, I watch it from time to time because you know, i got kids too so i you know and it's, yeah. it's on the show too so it's on the on their page too so sorry um, guys, my phone died. yeah so <laughs> we're connecting her back and <laughs> no worries all right so yeah so we're down to the last question right so if you had a billion dollars what's the first two two, two things you would do with it well, the first thing I would do is um, I would take care of my mom. I would get her a house or wherever she wants to stay. I know she talks that she wants to go back to Thailand, but <laughs> I think I'll just find her somewhere to stay here. Um, yeah. So, you know, retire my mom. And then um, secondly, so my goal is to – I want to have an organization where um, – 
I help children and I know it happens in all communities, but especially our Hmong community, um, who who deal with sexual abuse. Um and 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 teach like everyone else, every family member, um, you know, parents and such, anyone who sees it, you know, or maybe um maybe around a child who is dealing yeah. with that. Uh, for them to to look for the signs and mommy, know mommy, and I like you. Oh. Uh, community for someone I to always find jacket. address that issue and and help you know help the the victims of um, sexual abuse. Oh okay. Oh yeah. yeah. I I don't know. Is it is that was that a big issue? I mean, that you see. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like it is just from, um, people like I've, I've known, um, and things I've heard and stuff. Um, yeah, I do feel like a lot of that happens in our community. Oh, so that's, out of here. that's yeah. something I would want to, I, I would want to find a solution for to just to help, um, build I guess better adults, you know, um, and yeah, individuals. Gotcha. Well, I well, would do you that. Don't... That would be the second thing I would do. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, anybody who's watching the show that can help her out on that, I think that's more important. You don't have to wait till you make a billion dollars for that. So, yeah. uh, anybody who's watching the show, if we can all chip in and help Christy on that, that would be great too. So, uh, sad to hear about that. I, 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 I didn't, didn't know that was an issue but um all right so now we know so cool so uh ladies thanks for coming on the show thanks for you know being a true hustler i i see you guys are hustling out every day you know on your show so uh i you know thanks for coming on the show and uh those of you guys are watching give give these ladies a few thumbs up you know that they came on and uh you know we'll uh I'll put in their link to watch their show daily so you guys can catch up on what they do um I guess daily. So uh, until then, everybody, good night and keep hustling. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.